Oh, what is up, guys? It is your boy. This time, we got brand with the visor. You smoke it off. Let's go. Yeah, I right, so guys. Seeing this video, we're gonna be making a freaking Tokyo Avengers video. Yeah, man, I haven't done a Tokyo Avengers video in a freaking hot ass minute. But before I do continue talking about the topic of today, man, I just want to say that this video is gonna have a spoilers. I mean, this video is gonna have spoilers, just like a little freaking spoiler warning. Yeah, man. Oh my god, <laughs> bro. I right, so right now, before we just talk about the freaking spoilers, bro, I was shaving my mustache and some somehow hair from my mustache got in my eye don't ask how man listen every single time i shave bro i do such a bad job bro i'm always like freaking cutting on the underside of my chin and then for some reason when i when i cut under my chin it does not stop bleeding bro i'd be i'd be bleeding for like half an hour man i just had to freaking deal with it like uh damn it man but yeah like i was saying guys in the recent chapter of tokyo avengers chapter 250 man i think it was like near the end or i think it was the last panel we find out that freaking sanzo kicked um karaga senju's ass well i mean he kind of cheated he used a metal pipe to like beat her down i'm not gonna lie why did senju not defend herself i'm honestly i wouldn't be surprised if the bitch is dead man because let's be honest i mean no one is anime she's probably not dead but bro she took a couple of smacks to the head at full force probably from a metal pipe and she probably either has brain damage or she's probably paralyzed bro let's just be honest if you get hit in the head with a metal pipe you're not gonna survive that man but like i was saying it is anime so expect the bitch to wake up in a couple of chapters but like i was saying at the end of the panel bro um because you know senju was trying to apologize to freaking sans like oh i'm sorry about what happened that day when mikey ripped your mouth because i blamed it on you that you broke his little plastic little shitty plane that I could probably get from wish.com for like ten dollars and then cry i mean and then freaking sanzo like he didn't even care bro he just kept on smacking that bitch bro but then at the end um sanzo was like that was only the trigger to what i you know the thing is though, I don't know what exactly, so I'm just gonna put like a picture on the screen. It's just something about that was just a trigger about what made me snap or something like that. But I want to say is now that's kind of good news because let's just be honest. Why would that make him snap and everything? I just want to, I just think that in the upcoming chapters, we're going to find out why Mikey actually snapped. Because if it's actually, the main reason he actually snapped was because of that little plastic little toy plane. That's gonna be kind of dumb, but I think um the dude, I forgot his name, the dude who wrote the Tokyo Rangers manga, maybe he saw how everybody is mad about how he um Mikey got his dark impulses. He's trying to like, you know, fix the situation, make it better. But if um if Sanzo said that day was only the trigger, what I actually think what might have happened is basically, as you guys know, when Sanzo, Takomi, and Karaga Senju, they were all under the same household. Takomi was like the father figure of the house, because I don't know if they got a mom or not. Usually in anime, the dad is dead, but I think in this part, the mom was not in the picture. The bitch probably died, but the dad was never there. It was probably some business dude. And Takomi, like I said, was like the father figure of the house. And every single time um, Karaga Senju did something wrong or what Takomi didn't like, Instead of Senju getting in trouble, um, Takomi would put the blame on Sanzo. I don't know why. It's kind of dumb, bro. I hate when people do that. Just because it's their little sister, they blame the older brother for everything. Because supposedly, um, Senju was taking everything that Sanzo did and just, you know, incorporating that into her lifestyle. And then Takomi didn't like that. So he would just, like, you know, blame everything on Sanzo. I think there was one, in one, um, in one page, Senju said some freaking thing. And I think it was like something that males can only say or she said like in a tone, I mean in a way, in a manner in which only males only say it. And then San, I mean, it took call me was just like, you know, screaming at freaking Sans would be like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Every stupid thing you do. Sanju starts repeating, man. You better correct yourself if I knock you the fuck out. And then Sanzo would all be so scared. He was like so timid, man. He was so scared to call me. I think in one um and one page, Sanzo was like, oh, I wish I could be like Mikey or um, what's his name, Baji, man. The way they stand up for themselves, man. Not me. He was just like shaking. Man. He was scared like, oh, so, um, Sanju, I don't want to be around you anymore because every single time I'm around you, I always get in trouble and I don't like that. He was just so nervous and timid. I just think he had, he got fed up just that day when freaking Sanju blamed the freaking toy on him in which it made Mikey rip his mouth. I think that was like the tipping point to, um, to Sanzo. He was like, that's it, bro. I had enough of this family. Every single time something goes wrong it's always my fault somehow and he, after that day probably he just left the house and everything but also before we do in the video i just want to say that um um mikey for mikey's freaking thing right now i just think the only reason mikey is going crazy right now and he's not showing no remorse towards takamichi is because i think in multiple timelines mikey told takamichi that no matter what please do not come visit him in the future and i think somehow mikey either hanma or senju i mean hanma or sanzo might be a time traveler with um like just like takamichi 
because I feel like Mikey knows what happens in the Bolton arc. Because if you guys know in the Bolton arc, everybody actually survived. They were happy. They had a good ending. But then Takamichi, even you know, even though Mikey told them in the he left them like a little um like a video cassette, he told them, please Takamichi, no matter what happens in the future, I want you to stay away from me. It's for the greater good for both of us and for everybody else. But Takamichi went against Mikey's best wishes and visited him either way, which ended up Mikey shooting Takamichi, and they both died in that timeline because you know Mikey fell off the building and Takamichi probably bled out. So yeah, Takamichi just so mad. I mean, Mikey, I would say it was freaking Mikey, bro. I feel like somehow Mikey knows about that future, and he's mad that Takamichi came back, because now that Takamichi's back, Draken actually died. If you guys didn't know, Draken and Mikey were actually, like, brothers, man. They, I mean, they weren't brother brothers, but, like, you know, they were so close together. They were, they were just, like, not biologically brothers, but, you know, just confirmed. I mean, they just they had this friendship, which was, like, you know, brotherly, man, but, yeah. That's about it, man. That's all I had to say in this video. Senju was probably just fed up, man. All those times he got in trouble for freaking Senju's bullshit, man. You know, he got fed up, man. He had enough of it, but yeah, all in all, I'm out. Um, hopefully, you get to see more about the, you know, the Sanzo family. I just, hopefully, they show the scene where um, Sanzo leaves the household because I think that's what happens, man. He didn't stay with them any longer because, and there was multiple times where Sanzo was telling um, Mochi that he never had a family or he always wanted a big brother like Mochi. He never had one. So, yeah, he don't claim them as his siblings no more. I want to know why, but yeah, and now I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace, man. I just spit all over my freaking um, keyboard. Fuck, that's nasty, bruh.